Hello, set again. Um, today I'm going to show you Tractor Pro. <laughs> uh, not live, well, let's say I have a live running in the background. Um, recently I was DJing in a club when I took my Tractor Pro here to uh, DJ there and yeah, you know, Tractor Pro is very great too. Uh, it's fast, it's, it's, uh, it's common, you can use all your uh, MP3s and M MP4s and so on and the best of all is that it doesn't write these whole WAV files to your computer and you can yeah you can use, <sighs> use MP3s instead and this is so great anyway um, I don't want to DJ without Ableton Live so I was running into the background and I was looking for a for a uh, for a method for a trick to connect these two uh, programs together. Uh, Tractor doesn't uh, use um, rewire, so I was looking for anything else, and well, I found it. Uh, on your Mac, there's one great thing or two great things uh, you can use. It's when I go in the settings window from um, from Tractor you can go here to your MIDI setup and activate this IIC, IIC driver which you can find in your audio MIDI setup which is in your um, utilities folder folder in your applications folder. This is this little red device you double click it and say this device is online and what it does is that it provides a way to send internally computer uh, signals, e uh, MIDI signals from one application to another. So when I uh, set this MIDI output device here to be active and say this um, device to send MIDI clock, I can go to Ableton Live and s go to the settings window and let's say settings window is here and go to your, go to my MIDI sync and when you look up here on the left when I activate this AIC, IIC driver, this sync I get this external with, with a blinking uh, yellow light this te tells me that already a MIDI clock signal comes in and these two programs are now working together with the same speed this is very great because when I set my let's say my DJ effects here on an audio track would be the best <laughs> um, these all these um, effects here are uh, in the same tempo as I have set in tractor so this is the one side um, which uh, to, for to connecting these two uh, programs together. The other uh, thing we, we have to adjust is the audio side. So we set, uh, we download Soundflower from Cycling74 um, which provides a computer internally device for sending audio signals from one application to another. So whenever I set this Soundflower uh, device here to be the output of one device, of one um, program please um, control your uh, output routing here go to live and whenever you go to this the other application to the audio tab you set the soundflower device to be the input so when I press play now in tractor you see that audio is coming out but here in, in, in but here in, in Ableton, you see that external in says that it, ca it that uh, signal co is coming in from one and two, and when I set this to monitor in, ta da! There's the signal, and let's control if all my effects here are running with a the speed they should. Sounds 
quite good. So what's what's up with the monitor? You see, I already created another another track here. This track uh, has the signal coming from uh, three. output device with uh, two stereo outputs, I don't have one net by now, uh, you can set it to Q out uh, 3 4, set this to Q, uh, put down the fader, mute it and Q it, it's solo in my, appli in my uh, application now. Don't worry, go back to um, tractor, monitor, and you see that 3-4 signal is coming and then when I... yeah, you hear it. So, this, is where, this was a very short tutorial for connecting these two applications together. You can really uh, use this technique to <coughs> connect almost any application to another. So let's say if you want to have your Skype recordings recorded, you can uh, set your Skype output to be Soundflower, go to what let's say uh, live again, um, set the audio input to Sunflower, record on an audio track and there you have your Skype recording. I hope you liked this tutorial, please come back for more and see ya!